After a hard day's work at Bagram Airfield, a warm shower or washing one's hands are comforts that a flowing water supply can offer. Though a working faucet could be taken for granted, at an old well on the outskirts of base, a group of U.S. Navy Seabees are making it their mission to guarantee these services continue without interruption. The Seabees are cleaning filters deep under the earth to get the well back online. Uh, the capacity of the well had uh, started to diminish, so they've asked us to come in and see if we could redevelop it to get the output capacity increased. Using connected metal pipes to act as a giant plunger, the CBs force the steel into the well to produce the massive water pressure needed to remove the dirt from the filters. What we have here is a diverter because the water will spew up and kind of get everything. So in order to not have that happen, we'll put this here to let the water go in a specific direction so it's not causing too much of a mess. the air holes to let the air go down and then it'll shoot the water out. What that does is it clear up the formation and we'll keep running that until the water actually starts to come out clearly. Uh, it usually takes about maybe a couple of days. Pretty much it takes time. After more than a week of work, the well has sprung a clear success. You look at our samples here, the first one you see is when we first started the well and progressing throughout the day and then today, continue to run the water to try to clear it up even more and try to get a good quality water. We want to produce as much water as possible, but our number one goal is a good clear uh, quality of water. Days at the well can be tedious, often involving wet clothes in frigid winter temperatures, but the CBs push forward. Part of our training is the can-do mentality that gets embedded into our brain you know, on a daily basis. And there's no job that we can't do, there's no test that we can't accomplish. I've seen some places where uh, people had to limit their use of water because the, the source wasn't so readily available like it is here. So when we get this back online, you know, it's going to be another morale booster, I guess, for our, our troops. Reporting from Bagram Airfield, Afghanistan. I'm Marine Corporal Joshua DeFore.